Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today we're on the Alpha server to take a look at probably the biggest update we've seen in over a year. And my goodness, does it ever not disappoint. This update looks insane. The amount of new pets, we have fossils, excavation, ice tunnels, new collections, new resources, Heart of the Mountain 10. This update honestly has basically everything you could ask for in a mining update. And it's right here behind this glass site wall. We were always wondering if this thing was ever going to go somewhere. And today's the day we got our answer. So if you guys are excited for all that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to jump into everything that's going on on the alpha server for this brand new glassite tunnels update and without further ado let's take a look super quickly though if you do find yourself checking on the hypixel store tomorrow for the brand new tarantula and spider pet fire sales don't forget to use my career code on checkout that is z-a-c-h just like my name if you type that in on checkout you'll actually save five percent on your purchase and it's a great way to support myself in the channel and honestly these skins look pretty sick I'm, I'm hyped for these let me know if you guys are as well these are the first skins we're getting for these two pets in particular and uh honestly they they kind of killed it with these so let me know in the comments down below if you'll be using code zach to pick them up but without further ado let's get back on the alpha and we have a lot to explore there's a lot to cover in today's video so there's gonna be some parts i leave out but i'll let you know when i leave it out once you do the little mini tutorial and get the item forged to actually gain access to the dwarven base camp you can ride a minecart from the ticket master and he will take you behind the ice wall for the first time once you arrive in the glass light tunnels you'll have some npcs to talk to such as dullin who helped you get here in the first place you have the ticket master behind you if you ever need to head anywhere else and then he'll tell you to go ahead and explore and talk to dr stone as well as this npc right here this npc tells you a little bit about the glass eye tunnels basically letting you know the further you go away from this campfire or whenever you step into the tunnels you will actually start gaining cold stats you will start getting cold and once you get uh certain amounts of cold you lose up to 50% of your mining speed uh, that number could be somewhat incorrect But you lose a bunch of mining speed as well as movement speed and eventually if you get too cold You'll genuinely just die. So uh, you need to keep an eye on that. There's reforges um, Sorry, there's enchants There's um, different heart of the mountain perks to basically allow you to stay longer each time But once you run back to the campfire in the center of the Dorban base camp your cold will be reset and you'll kind of just be chilling the main building here though as you can see it's kind of like crumbled ruins we have these buildings over here that don't really have anything in them they're empty maybe future content hard to say but when you do talk to Dylan, he mentions more people coming in three to five business days which is um we've heard that one before so don't expect any of this type of content anytime soon but we do have a building fully up and running and that is the um like archaeologist kind of fossil excavation area uh pretty cool looking building i like the little dinosaur symbol on the front and you might be thinking why a dinosaur symbol they've added dinosaurs to skyblock um it's it's getting a little crazy but we have the fossil excavator over here which is how you're going to find your fossils in the first place i'll get walk you guys through a tutorial on that you've dr stone who's kind of like the curator of your own mini fossil museum there's a bunch of display cases there's eight fossils in total one of which already exists in the game being the helix for the ammonite pet so as you can see it looks super sick in this little display case but there's seven other spots you're gonna have to fill up and i'm gonna tell you guys what fossils those are and because each fossil leads Leads to a new pet that they will be adding into the game so we're gonna get seven brand new pets at a minimum from this update already which is which is wild but um, yeah, we have a lot to explore, so let's take a look. To get your hands on fossils in the first place, you're going to need these things called suspicious scrap. And they're as easy to get as I am showing here. I have five stacks in my inventory. I got these from the uh, NPC in the hub. But they are quite difficult to get, and you kind of have to hunt for them while mining. And so now let's actually finally delve into the main content of this place. Like everything you're doing in here, basically, or mo for the most part, is you're looking for those scraps so you can come back here, get fossils, and basically grab yourself these brand new pets which is pretty cool and we're going to talk about the fossil excavator later but to actually get some fossil scraps you need to dwell into the glassite tunnels and these things are filled with brand new resources gemstones there's four new gemstones they've added three new mining materials as well as uh almost like mini dungeon adventures which is kind of insane but as you can see the glassite tunnels are massive it doesn't matter which direction you head off in there's always something to explore and uh honestly a big fan of it and here is actually the first new gemstone we've come across i'm pretty sure this is aquamarine if i'm not mistaken it is so there are four new gemstones we have aquamarine which is this dark blue we have onyx which is a black stained glass we then have uh period uh 
Peridot, or I'm, I'll have to learn how to pronounce this one properly. Peridot, which is like this green, and then we also have Citrin, which is this like dark reddish orange, which is pretty cool. All these give various different stats, just like regular gemstones do. For example, Ruby gives health, that type of thing. Onyx will actually give crit damage. Right now it's bugged in game and says crit chance. Then we have Aquamarine, which will give sea creature chance. We have uh, Citrin, which will give forging fortune. And then we have uh, Peridot, or period T, or something uh which gives farming fortune farming fortune which is insane they've also added gemstone slots to a bunch of existing armor sets such as fermento i think we have um yeah we have two some extra uh gemstone slots on uh magma lord for example really interesting stuff um so yeah we're, we're gonna have a lot of stuff to mess around with when the main server comes out different gemstones to grind but as you can see on my right hand side my cold is going down currently i'm at minus 18 um, I haven't tested it to see when you actually die. I know there's like these little uh, extra tunnels you can explore and if you get to minus 100 then uh, you die so that type of thing but now it's time to talk about the new resources. We have more than just four gemstones to mine in here. There's a bunch of new stuff added. So first one being these giant ice spikes. You see them everywhere. This is glassite and you can actually mine it. You can literally just come here and mine it. And uh, there's a full collection for it. There's three brand new collections they add in the update. And um, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in the collection. If we go ahead and take a look, go to mining glassite as you can see nine levels there's a lot of things in here that say coming soon such as a glassite golem pet whether we get this on release or not we'll have to see um but then we also have like other rewards just giving mining fortune um as you can see this one says a chilled torch which is coming soon we have enchanted glassite then we have uh glassite amalgamation which i'm pretty sure you need this for a lot of different crafts there's a ton of new forge items from uh, not to mention, you have to go from higher than 7 to 10. You need to be higher than 7 to come in this area, but you can go all the way up to level 10. Uh, you need glassite amalgamation for a bunch of crafts. So it's a new gemstone, some enchanted glassite. Um, then we also have a new uh, reforge when combined with a pickaxe. This thing looks pretty cool. Frigid husk. Once again, more glassite amalgamations. And then uh, the glassite golem pet coming soon. So that should be really interesting. But that is not the only resource in here that is brand new. This orange stuff on the wall, this is a brand new resource as well. Um, I always forget the name of this stuff. If we go ahead and check my collection, I'll remember. Umber. Yes, this one's Umber. So full collection for this. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of coming soon items in here. Like excavator potion, Umber dice, uh, which all look pretty cool. But then uh, there are some things in here like Enchanted Umber, Refined Umber from the Dwarven Forge, and then Umber Keys. Now, Umber Keys are probably the most interesting thing in here. We also have Umber Plates, which uh, you'll need for some more Forge stuff. But there's three different types of keys in here, and I'll show you guys why you need them. Um, but there's an Umber Key, there's a Tungsten Key, and then there's a Skeleton Key. So all three are super important and have various different uses, but we'll get into that as well. Then you might also see these like cobblestone and clay outlined areas. This right here is tungsten, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, pretty slow to mine, but once again, a whole new resource. We're going to have to grind our way through. Um, this is also how you unlock your first chisel. Um, I'm Right now on the alpha, they basically just have a dude who gives you one. But I'm assuming that's not the case and you're going to have to craft it yourself um, to get your first chisel. But you need your chisel for excavating, so that's in the tungsten collection. We have Enchanted uh, Tungsten, Cold Resistance Potion, grants cold resistance in the glassite tunnels. We have Refined Tungsten, uh, Tungsten Keys, which is the other type of key I was talking about. And then we also have Tungsten Plates, which you're going to need in the forge. But as you can see, I'm getting cold, so my uh, walking speed is actually decreased by uh, 50%. I'm now at 200 walking speed. So uh, making sure you have some type of cold resistance or remembering your way back is going to be very important. I'm going to be honest. I am beyond lost, so I'm going to do warp mines and uh, kind of reset myself. Now for arguably the main part of the update. How to actually get suspicious scraps. You're going to need a ton of these things if you ever want to unearth two of each of these fossils. Once just for the display case, and the second time they'll let you turn it into the pet. So to do so, you need to mine. Also, here's some onyx, for example. But you basically just need to mine a ton. Um, and so while you're mining, you have a chance of spawning various different types of mine shafts. Which is why I was saying it's almost like a mini dungeon. Uh, there's different mobs in there, which have some drops you're going to need. Um, they actually drop a reforged stone. It doesn't seem like it's too amazing on alpha. We'll see if that reforged stone gets changed. But uh, glassite crystals is the name of it. And basically you get 9 of those. You get 15 skyblock XP. There's so much skyblock XP in this update. It's kind of insane. 
But I'm going to mine around really quickly, try and spawn a mine shaft uh, so we can actually check it out and see what it's all about. And there we go. Just by mining, a uh, mine shaft portal has appeared. There's a bunch of different types, but basically, as you can see, uh, it gives you a little bit of information. You can actually warp other players into your mine shaft within the first minute. So whether you're doing bestiary parties or you get a really lucky type of mine shaft, you can warp your friends in and don't freeze. You'll be kicked out once you hit negative 100 cold. So you just click to enter, takes you to a new instance. And here we are in the mine shaft. Here's like the little spawn area you drop down into the mine shaft and as you can see there's a bunch of mobs these things are a little hefty you can't use teleportation in here and there's a bunch of corpses lying around as well as uh there's various different types of materials to grind in different mine shafts so this one's special this one requires a umber key which i actually forgot to grab one of but basically there's these little corpses lying around there's three different types to my knowledge Here's one that requires a tungsten key, which I actually have. So if I right click this guy, as you can see, it uses the key. I got some glass eye powder, golden diamond essence, and some flawed uh, onyx gemstones. I'm not going to lie. Uh, what is this? Oh, wait, I found one of the new crystals. Hold up, that's actually insane. There's new crystals as well. Use this crystal in Dwarven Forge to make better items. So, yeah, found one of the crystals. I guess you find them in the mine shafts. I didn't even know that. So that's pretty cool. But uh, I'm going to be honest, I think the corpses need to get buffed if they're going to be worth the keys. Some of these keys are rather expensive to uh, forge. And so the thought of um, forging them is, is kind of brutal if you're only going to get like small little drops. They don't seem too worthwhile, but you'll usually find a couple corpses in each mineshaft, which is pretty cool. But yeah, the main part of the mineshaft we found, I guess, was this crystal, which is pretty dope. But as you can see, there's a bunch of, uh, is this? Oh, oh yeah. So this is uh, one of the new gemstones. Uh I'm just going to call it Peridot until I get corrected. But yeah, this is a really good spot to mine it. Also, when you get hit by mobs in here, they actually make you get colder fast. As you can see, every time I get hit, my cold goes down. So you're going to want to make sure you keep an eye on that. There's different uh, enchants that you can actually get on your armor and um, to actually reduce how cold you get. But you want to try and make sure that you get out of here before you reach negative 100. Otherwise, you'll kind of just die. And if you leave early, there's a little reward for leaving early. If we go ahead and click this. We leave and, uh, oh, I guess I'm trapped in here forever. But by leaving early, you get a thousand glassite powder. So as I was saying, there are two new enchants that I know of in the game. One being ice cold, which actually goes on armor and grants plus 2.5 cold resistance. What that actually does, not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. But you can find these ice cold books from those corpses, which is actually kind of worthwhile, I guess, if that's the main thing that they want, the, that the admins have intended for you to, like, go for i guess when you're using those corpses but the kind of the rest of the loot is a little lackluster i'm going to be honest but we'll have to see what they do and then the other one is paleontologist uh, which increases chances of finding suspicious crap when mining in glass mine mineshafts so basically by mining around in that mine shaft we were just in you have a chance of finding uh suspicious scraps which is what you need for a major part of this update so in the forge there's a bunch of different types of chisels uh, you start off with a base chisel and you can basically upgrade it which will give you more charge gemstone slots and uh, the new gemstones actually give you some pretty cool stats when applied to a chisel for the fossil excavator mini game i guess you could say so um the gemstones when you actually put them in the chisel aquamarine uh gives you a chance uh, to gain additional chisel charge upon starting the fossil excavator. Um, this one gives 100% fossil dust when using the fossil excavator. This is that perfect, by the way. Obviously, lower tiers, depending on the rarity of uh, your gemstone that you've kind of applied. Um, and then Citrin, 100% chance to highlight a piece of treasure upon starting the fossil excavator, which is pretty cool. And then Onyx, 100% chance to spawn an additional piece of treasure upon starting the fossil excavator. So, to do the fossil excavator... You're going to need your suspicious scrap. You're going to slap that in as well as your chisel. And then you're going to be able to start the excavator. As you can see, it's just a full screen of dirt, it says. And with this chisel, I have 16 slots. You can get uh, a few more than that by upgrading your chisel, as I was saying. But you basically just click around and you'll find little uh, rarities such as gemstones. You can find some powder in here. Um, you can find some fossil powder as well. But um, yeah, as you can see, I... Basically, just got my hands on a couple things, and then it reveals everything I missed out on. This one would be a good one to get, for example. And uh, as you can see, there was no fossil here. But um, by doing this, you actually have a chance to find a fossil, which is like a bunch of white stained glass. And you have to unearth the entire fossil to actually get the fossil. If you only get a little bit of it, then you get a little bit of fossil powder, which you can then use to actually... 
get more suspicious scrap if you get 500 of it but let me try and find a fossil really quickly for you guys okay i actually we have a fossil here i don't know which one it is um they're a little tricky i can't lie i i don't know which one this is at all i have no idea i i have no idea which fossil this is yeah, so I only own those 60 of it, or 60% of it. Uh, it was this one. It's the pickaxe. See, so there, there's different patterns, and this, I believe, is the footprint fossil or the webbed fossil, um, which I'll explain those in just a second, what those actually are. But I did get six fossil deaths from unearthing all those, which isn't much, but I guess slowly but surely I'll work towards more suspicious scraps. But yeah, having more clicks basically ensures that you're able to get those fossils, which is like a physical item you can give to Dr. Stone over here. So you're going to want to make sure you upgrade your, your chisel. It's probably a top priority if you ever want any of the new fossils and pets. So I just hopped over to my old main profile. It's uh, honestly, I need to stop calling it my old main profile. It's, it's just a regular profile that I used to play on way back. Obviously not level... Um, the level I am on my Iron Man, nor is it an Iron Man. So, Manson Banana hooked me up. He actually has a copy of all eight of the fossils. The Helix is the one that we already have in the game. Um, I think it's cool, though, that, like, it's, like, tied into this. You know what I mean? Like, I'm assuming... Are they actually... No, I'm pretty sure you can still get an Ammonite in the Forge, but it'd be kind of cool if, like... They made it so that this was the way to get ammonite now. I'm actually kind of here for that. But either way, over here, the fossil excavator, this is where you actually hunt for all these different fossils. There's eight in total. And once you have them, you can come over here to Dr. Stone. And uh, he'll basically kind of just yap for a little bit. Oh, I forgot. I haven't done this uh, little tutorial part on this profile. But you're able to give them the eight fossils that will then be placed into these display cases. And you might think, oh, okay, that's kind of interesting. The way they have them to, like, display in these cases honestly looks so sick. So uh, I don't know how they did it, but they, they messed around with, like, some weird Minecraft armor stand mechanics, and it looks really dope. So uh, kind of a big fan of it. But if you're wondering the names of all the fossils, I'm going to tell you guys what pets they give, too. But we have the Helix, which is for Ammonite. We have the Ugly Fossil, the Footprint Fossil, the Webbed Fossil, the Clubbed Fossil, Tusk Fossil, Spine Fossil, and the Claw Fossil. And uh, these give some interesting pets that we're going to see. They, they don't have the pets currently on Alpha, but... It should lead to seven brand new pets, and my goodness, are these ever some interesting pets. So let's go ahead and uh, donate these fossils. Okay, there's a, there's a confirmation button now, which is pretty cool. But basically, there's an assigned spot for all of them, as you can see. Once you go ahead and donate all of them, there's also 80 Skyblock XP on the line for these, as well as a bunch of Glassite Powder, uh, Mining Experience, and I'm pretty sure Higher the Mountain XP if you aren't Higher the Mountain 10 yet. And here's the Fossil Guide, which basically tells you how to get fossils, and then you donate them here. If I were to ever get these fossils again, then they would be able to be turned into pets. They don't have that feature enabled yet on the Alpha. But look at these! This is so sick, these little display cases. And then there's uh, four more up here as well. This one's massive. And some of the pets that these are going to be are insane. So first and foremost, we have the Helix, which is the Ammonite. Um, it basically, this thing is 100% Ammonite, which is pretty cool. But, like, look at the display cases. These things look so cool. And then uh, next to that, though, that's the only one we know of, or that's already in the game. This one here, the ugly fossil, is a goblin pet, which is pretty cool. This thing looks gross. It's surely an ugly fossil. Whatever goblin that belonged to was pretty nasty looking even for a goblin. Pretty cool. This one over here, um, I guess I need to wait for it to finish uh, rambling, but this one here is going to be a mammoth pet which is insane like i don't we don't know what any of these perks are going to be we don't know if all these i'm assuming all these pets will be able to become legendary but um yeah pretty amazing this the tusk fossil looks absolutely amazing and it will be the mammoths mammoths had two of these and used them to fend off predators that's sick um and then this one here if i'm not mistaken is the mole pet this is going to be for moles i'm pretty sure this is the claw fossil if my memory serves me right, I kind of want to go and check at Dr. Stone now. Uh, Tusk Fossil. Yes, it should be the Claw Fossil, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, either way, looks sick. Uh, yeah, let's see the Claw Fossil, those sharp claws. And then it should say something about it being a mole, which is dope. But honestly, I would say where all the, the most, I mean, the Mammoth Pet sounds dope to me. Goblin and Mole aren't the most exciting pet names, but these four up here... Man, did they cook up here. Let's go ahead and start uh, with the, I guess, least insane sounding one. This is the webbed fossil, and it will be the penguin pet. I'm assuming some type of fishing pet, but honestly, like, 
Uh, we're getting so many cool pets in this update. I actually can't wait. So, yeah, this is going to be the penguin pet. Most bird species evolved with hollow bones to help them stay light from f when flying. Penguins, however, had solid bones, which helped them float when in the water. I actually didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, this one here, as you can see, these next three are starting to look insane. This one has, like, a crazy name. This one, I don't know if you guys can tell what that one is yet, but, man, am I excited for that pet right there. This is the club fossil, which is the Ankylosaurus. We have dinosaurs, bro. We're going to have dinosaurs in Skyblock. Those things are pretty much walking fortresses, completely covered in, the bony, de in bony deposits known as, uh, what word is that, bro? Osteoderms uh, that protected them from predators. Today, you'll see similar armor, like, Osteoderms on crocodiles and armadillos. Pretty cool. This one. This one is the one I'm most excited for. This pet, I hope it's sick because this is the footprint fossil and uh, it belongs to a T Rex. It looks to have belonged to the legendary T Rex. The T Rex is made fun of for its uh, comparatively small arms, but they were still over three feet long. Some other carnivores also had even stubby little arms, so I guess there's that. But yeah, T we're getting a T-Rex in Skyblock, bro. And then this one, this is another dinosaur, the spine fossil. This is the Spinosaurus, or yeah, there it is. Many, many years ago, it would have belonged to one Spinosaurus, or, or Spinosaurus. Uh, fun fact, the T-Rex isn't actually the heaviest carniv carniv carnivorous dinosaur known to researchers. That title actually goes to this fella, who was one big boy. But yeah, there you have it. All these should turn into pets, which is insane. Like, oh, I love this. Bro, we're getting dinosaurs in Skyblock. That's insane. Like, this whole area is pretty dope. So I'm back onto the Iron Man, and I want to show you guys, uh, honestly, a major part of the update I haven't even showed yet in today's video, and that is Heart of the Mountain 10. So if you go into your Heart of the Mountain menu, um, there's now a new type of powder as well, being Glassite Powder, which if you want the max Skyblock XP, you're going to need 20 million of. Um, very similar to... Uh, I guess it's not similar to how you get the other two um, powders. Basically, you get glassite powder by uh, mining glassite, as well as the corpses. There's, um, like, the excavating. You can get glassite powder when unearthing stuff. There's honestly a bunch of little ways to gain it. Uh, getting 20 million is going to be quite painful. I don't know if it's going to be something you can get from powder chests. I highly doubt it. But, um, yeah, that's something you're going to have to look out for. But... We have three brand new Heart of the Mountain levels, which give a ton of Skyblock XP. This whole update as a whole, the brand new collections, we have the fossils you have to donate, three new Heart of the Mountain tiers, 20 million powder worth of XP. Uh, there's like over 20 levels worth of stuff in this update, like 20 Skyblock levels from the seven brand new pets that we know are coming out. There's a chance of an eighth in the Glass Eye collection. There's a ton. Um, and so as you can see, we have a ton of new perks. I'm not going to delve into them too much now. Just know that um, all these require uh, Glass Eye Powder as well as um, none of these really buff old mining. Like they don't really buff anything in the Crystal Hollows, the Dwarven Mines. Like all these perks are really just for in the Glassite Tunnels. So it'll be stuff like Grant's Mining Speed once inside the Glass Glassite mine shafts, suspicious scraps uh, have a percentage more likely to contain a fossil, um, gain the percent chance to get more frozen corpses, um, more mining fortune when mining glassite, uh, stuff like that. This one, though, I guess is helpful. Your first daily commission in each mining zone grants bonus powder. That can be upgraded pretty far. Um, more fossil dust, cold resistance, like that type of thing. Um, that's kind of the gist of everything. Whenever you enter a glassite mine shaft, one highlighted hardstone block will contain 250 glassite powder. So uh, little things like that, but very useful in this area. We'll have to see what the new meta is in terms of how you should design your Heart of the Mountain tree. And from those three near new tiers, uh, Heart of the Mountain 8, 9, and 10, you'll actually get six more tokens of the mountain. But as you can see, there's a lot more than six perks. So you're going to have to ch choose wisely. And then also, as you can see down below, there are four new crystals that you can actually get your hands on. Um, or was Opal always a crystal? Yeah, Opal... No, wait, Opal's a new crystal, right? We didn't have Opal crystals before. So five crystals now extra you can get your hands on. Opal, Aquamarine, uh, Peridot, Onyx, and Citrin. So as you saw, that I showed you guys how to get one of them. I'm assuming that's very similar for some of those other ones, but we'll have to wait and see. Either way, this update's massive. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I didn't even get to cover, but honestly, try and hop on Alpha. I know there's a little bit of a long queue. Check it out for yourself. There's so much cool stuff to delve into from fossils to Heart of the Mountain to the new resources to these like dungeon mineshafts that we have going on. 
overall just so much to do and i can't wait for this update to come out on main so unfortunately that is gonna be me for that it for me today hopefully i didn't miss anything too major while going over the entire update i'm sure there is and uh maybe i'll make some more updates about how you can actually prepare for it from uh oh my goodness all the different forge items i literally didn't even touch on these yet but we, there's tons of stuff in here there's a perfect plate all these new perfect gemstones uh various umber plates tungsten plates glassite amalgamation then not to mention all the brand new things you can forge from um the relic of power which holds all the new gemstones uh devon's pendant there's new equipment mining equipment obviously you can upgrade your chisel as well um, there's tons of stuff in here that you guys are just gonna have to hop on and check out how to get the keys Yeah, so make sure you hop on the alpha server and actually take a look But sadly that is finally gonna do it for me today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. There's so much to explore I literally can't wait for this update. It's gonna be a blast I hope you guys are ready for more mining content because my goodness We're gonna have a lot to do when this hits the main server But yeah, let me know what you guys are most excited about from this update or if you guys are gonna check it out But if you guys did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe use code Zach when checking on the Hypixel store for that brand new fire sale tomorrow And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out Thank you.